Hi everyone, it's Sam. Welcome or welcome back. So today we're going to be working on a vinyasa flow that really embodies the sense of fluidity and the water element. So water is the element of creativity, emotion, expression. And water can be really calm and can be really soft, but there also can be elements of it where it can be a lot stronger but water doesn't force its way through anything it finds that space around an obstacle so really working with this today and um, moving with that sense of freedom sense of fluidity not only in the body but also trying to take that into the mind so when you're ready you'll only need a block today unless you want to take some other props that you know that you usually practice with and we're going to start to eat in seated hero's pose. So taking the block towards your mat, we're just going to place our sit bones on it. So taking our legs either side of it and then just allowing our bodies to sit down here. So the tops of the feet connecting down to the mat. If anything doesn't feel too comfortable here, you can prop up underneath the legs. And then just gently starting to close down the eyes here. Starting to drop into your practice. Arriving on your mat. Maybe taking one hand to your belly, one hand to your chest. And without any change, just noticing that rhythm of your breath. That fluidity that is already within the body. Noticing the rise and fall of the chest, the belly. Breathing with softness. Maybe start to think of the other elements of water that are within your body right now. So maybe the saliva in your mouth, the blood pumping the life force, that prana around the body into each and every cell. Just connecting with this for a moment. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Really nice. And then gently starting to blink open the eye. We'll move the block out of the way, just keeping it close by if we need it for later on. And then just bringing yourself onto your all fours, your tabletop position here. So spreading wide through fingertips, shoulders stacked on top of the wrist, hips over the knees. As you inhale, lift that tailbone, lower the belly. The chest reaches through, the gaze goes up to the sky. As you exhale, tuck under the tailbone, push away through shoulder blades, gaze to your belly. And take a couple more rounds of this movement. Really connecting it to your breath. Noticing each individual part of the spine as it opens up through cow. Exhale, feel that space in your cap. You can keep your elbows a little bit softer today to just find a little bit more buoyancy in this movement. Take one more round. Moving as slow as you need. And coming back to your tabletop position. Start to walk your hands about another palm's distance in front of you here. So we're going to do that same action. So coming into cat cow in this variation. So coming into cow, start to lower the sit bones back towards the heels. As you exhale, push down through the feet, round through the body into your cat. Your cat travels, takes you all the way down until you lower the hips down towards the mat. Elbows are soft. Peel the chest up. Gaze goes up if that feels right for you. Exhale, take it back. 
Inhale, ripple forward. So take in this variation, moving with your breath and feeling the openness of the body as you do this, the softness. Take one more round. And this time, as you ripple forward, soft through the elbows, can you allow your belly to come all the way down to the mat? Nice. So lying on our bellies, taking our hands wider than our mat, coming up onto our fingertips. Feet are about hips distance apart, pushing down through tops of the feet. I'm going to take some cobra rolls here, awakening through the spine. So ground down through that upper body. Tuck under the tailbone a little to allow the chest to ripple up. So we lift the chest, the shoulder blades draw down the back. The head is the last thing to lift. And then we exhale the ribs, the chest, the head comes down. Nice. And take four more of these with your own breath. Feeling this fluidity coming into your body. Noticing how it feels to maybe move in a little bit more of a freeing way. Nice. And then lowering the forehead down. And then coming up into our sphinx pose. So taking our elbows under our shoulders. Fingers are spread wide here. Forearms down on the mat. Lift and roll the heart space open. Maybe the gaze is up. And then starting to bend that left foot in towards the left glute. So this might be enough for you. You might want to take that right forearm a little bit more centrally here for stability. And then lift that left arm all the way up and back. So taking a strap if you need to. Otherwise, just gently encouraging this left foot. Creating a little bit more space through that left quad. If you can, turn in the left fingertips all the way to face you. Get a nice deep stretch. Only if that feels good for you. Send in that breath into the body. And then gently release it down. The left arm sweeps all the way back, connects to the mat. Take it central. Forearm down. And then we inhale the right arm all the way back. Bend in that right foot in to meet the glute. This might be enough. Maybe just that gentle encouragement to find a bit more space through the quad. We'll take and hold at the top of the foot. Turn in the hands so that the fingertips face forward. And gently encouraging here. So keeping active through that quad. And breathing into this space. Nice. And then gently release in here with control. Take that right arm all the way back. Resetting your foundation in your sphinx pose. So feel like you're drawing your hands to the back of the mat. Lifting up through the heart space. So taking some cat cows here. Which might feel a little bit strange. But just getting into the body. So as you inhale. Think about rolling the shoulder blades down. We lift up through the chest, the gaze goes up. As you exhale, push down through the lower body. Start to lift the belly off the mat. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Feel that core engagement. And take one more of these. Inhale, lift, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, push down through the mat, lift the belly. Now this time, stay in here. Well, this time as you inhale to exhale, push down, keeping the knees down, start to round through the spine, lift the upper thighs off the mat, feeling that core connection, nice. <laughs> we'll take two more, inhale. Exhale, feel that like you're drawing that core and engaging your Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha here. Inhale. Exhale, squeezing in. And then release it down. Take a little pillow for your head. Rest it down. Shaking the hips out from side to side. Releasing any tension that you need to. 
And from here, taking your hands underneath your shoulders, start to push the weight all the way up. Take it back towards the sit bones. Tuck under the toes. Lift the knees, extend, lift through the sit bones, come into your Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. And just maybe make this first one quite soft. So in this practice today, I'm really going to encourage you to not stay static. So finding that little bit of movement in the body, maybe through the head, through the upper body, pedaling through the legs, sway the hips from side to side. Really tuning into that fluidity, that freedom. Couple breaths here just to find out what feels right for you. Keeping that nice equal weight in the hands and the feet as you do this. Keeping the body supported. Grounding down through the left foot as you inhale. Start to take that right leg into the sky. Three-legged dog, so it doesn't need to go high here. Keeping the hips square. Inhale, prepare. As you exhale, start to draw that right knee to the outside of the right hand and then plant that right foot down. Lower the left knee. So we're coming into a variation of lizard here. So the, the right foot is 45 degrees and it can be a little bit closer than we usually do in lizard. And then really just wanting to explore the opening of the hips here. So taking any movement that just feels really nice for you to open up through the hips. Maybe noticing any little clicks, any pops of air as we do this. <laughs> Just feeling what actually feels really nice for you today. Starting to engage your Ujjayi breath, that audible breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Then come back to this lizard lunge variation. I'm going to start to add a little few sweeps here. So bending into that right leg, allow that left thigh to drop a little bit. As you inhale, sweep that right arm all the way up and over. So it's like a side bend. Feeling that nice stretch through the side body, stable through the left shin, the right foot. And then as you exhale, the right arm sweeps all the way back around and behind you. Gently start to straighten that right leg. You can keep a bend in the knee if you need to. Ground through the right heel, the, the right arm reaches up to the sky. Nice. And we flow through three of these movements. So inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Feeling your body waking up here. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. And then plant the hands back down, coming back through that lizard. Tuck under the left toes. Step the right foot back to meet it in your plank position. Then lower the knees. Come back into your cow back. Arch through the spine. And then bend the elbows, lower the chest and the chin in between the hands. Lower the hips, snake forward, peel the shoulders back, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Exhale, tuck under toe. Ripple it all the way back to your downward facing dog. Nice. Again, coming back to that fluid downward dog. Taking those movements that you need. Connecting breath to movement. And then taking that right foot into centre, we inhale, lift that left leg into the sky, three-legged dog, hips are square. Inhale, prepare. And as you exhale, shifting forward, send that left foot to the outside of the left hand and lower the right knee down so the left toes are 45 degrees. 
again, just getting into that hip. So taking any nice organic movement here. So maybe that is hip circle. Maybe we're rocking forward and back. It does not need to look like anything. Just noticing how you feel. Maybe it radiates throughout the whole body. And come back to your center, grounding down through that right hand. Look, starting to send that right hip down a little bit. We inhale, lift the left arm all the way up and over. So it's like a side body stretch and a little back bend. Inhale, hip. As you exhale, sweep that left arm all the way back. Start to lengthen through that left leg, bending in the knee if you need to. Nice hamstring stretch. Can we play through this three times? Inhale. Exhale, sweep it back. Adding on anything that you want. Inhale. Exhale, sweep you back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Then back into that left leg. Plant the left hand down, tuck under the toes. Lift the right leg, step back, come into your plank pose. Lower the knees, ten knees, chest and chin. Inhale, hips draw down, peel up to cobra, or maybe you want to lift up to your full upward facing dog, engaging through the thighs, lift the knees off the mat. Exhale, tuck under toes, push back downward facing dog, amazing, lower the knees out wide, lower the sit bones, melt the chest, the forehead down. Come into a wide-legged child's pose. Really, really nice. I'm feeling the breath moving fluidly through the body. And again, you don't need to stay still. So if you want to just gently rock the head from side to side, maybe sway the body here. You are most welcome. Maybe you have a little song on and you're just having a little dance. Taking what you need to connect back to your Ujjayi breath. And we move on a collective breath. So take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, slide out through the mouth. <sighs> really let it go. Let's take one more. Inhale. Exhale, release that tension. <sighs> Amazing. And ground them back down through the hands, sit under the toes, lift the knees, take the sit bones high, downward facing dog. So from your downward facing dog, we're going to ripple through into three waves. So finding your foundations in down dog, bend the knees low. We use this to ripple the body forward, so we articulate the spine rounding through our cat back, coming into our plank. From our plank, we bend the knees, we think cow back, so we start to arch through the back, push the sit bones back, extending back, downward facing dog. So a little bit like we did at the start of the practice. So let's go ahead and take two more of these. So we inhale, ripple forward, slower than you'd like. <laughs> Exhale, bend the knees, arch through the spine, send it back. Beautiful. One more. Bend the knees, draw you forward into plank. Exhale, bend the knees, fluidly send yourself back down and facing dog. Take the gaze in between the hands, walk, step, jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold here. Take a little moment. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Feeling this fluidity of these two postures. Inhale, peel the chest, open up, flat back. Exhale, fold you down. Really nice. Spread wide through the toes, ground down through the feet. As you inhale, take the arms all the way out, 
and up above you, hands meet in prayer. And then as you exhale, draw the energy all the way down to your heart space. Amazing. Breathe in here. Maybe using this time to set an intention for your practice. Feeling that heart connecting to your thumbs here. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out through the mouth. And when you're ready, gently blinking, open the eyes. So starting at the top of the mat, take your feet back hips distance apart. And in this flow now, let's feel really buoyant. Let's have a little bend in the knees, a little bend in the arms to really allow this fluid movement. So as you inhale, start to bend through the knees. We take the arms up and we cactus the arms. So we're opening through the chest. Again, everything is soft. As you exhale, Allow the arms to sweep behind you. Legs gently straighten the torso. Lowers down towards the thigh. Then we inhale, take it up. We draw back to that cactus. Exhale, fold. Nice. Let's take two more of these, moving more fluidly. Inhale. Exhale. So everything becomes like one big movement. Inhale up. Exhale down. When you're down, stay down here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step, jump back to your plank or chaturanga. Inhale, coming through knees, chest, chin or full chaturanga. Inhale, up for dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. From downward facing dog, left foot comes to centre, inhale that right leg up to the sky, three leg dog. This time bend the right foot towards the right glute, we open out that right hip. So taking the right foot across towards the left, breathing in that space in the hips. And then exhale, take it back, three leg dog. Inhale, start to draw that right knee towards the left elbow, holding here. And then extending that right leg out. So coming onto the knife edge of the right foot. Here might be enough for you. Or if you want to, pivot that back foot so that it's in line with the short edge of the mat or pointing out 45 degrees. And we lift all the way up into our fallen triangle. So ground down through the feet, lift up through the hips, wrap that right tricep. So again, adding a little bit of fluidity here for three breaths. So maybe you want to use something for the arms. Maybe you want to bend into that left leg and sweep it up. Take whatever feels right for you. Taking it away from that static hold. Really nice. And then taking that left hand all the way back. Coming onto the toes of the left foot, ground down through the hands, draw that right knee in towards the chest, come onto the knife edge of the left foot, stack in the hips, peel that right arm all the way up, Bashi Stasana, side plank, modifying if you need to, lowering down onto that left leg, breathing here, amazing. Options to stay here or options to explore your wild thing. If you want to come into wild thing, start to bend at the right knee and tap the right toes. Come onto the ball of the right foot behind you. Bend into the knees so we find a little bit of buoyancy here. Drive through the legs, lift the hips up to the sky and then we open all the way out into our wild thing. Amazing. Strong through that lower body. Open through the chest. One more breath. Feeling the fluidity of the breath. And then wherever you are, placing that right hand back down. Coming all the way back. We'll all meet back in three leg dog. Amazing. Inhale, connect back to your breath here. Exhale, draw the right knee in towards the nose and then step the right foot in between the hands. Roll that spine all the way up. 
arms reach high, crescent lunge. Taking the feet hips distance if you need. So inhale, put the thumbs and lift. Exhale, release, two more. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, release, keeping a bend in the back knee if you need, inhale. Exhale, release, then go ahead and pivot. The feet lift all the way up. Pivot the feet to the long edge of the mat. So big toes pointing in, feels slightly out. Ground down through the feet, lift through the crown of the head, inhale it long. As you exhale, hinging from your hips, start to lower it all the way down. Prasarita Padasanasana, taking your options. So maybe the hands come underneath the shoulders. Maybe you want to walk the hands in front, tensing up onto the fingers, so drawing the fingertips in. And we'll take three waves. So inhale, peel the body up, the head comes last of all. Exhale, bend the forearms, melt it down, nice. Inhale to rise. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale. Exhale. So coming into this forward fold a little deeper, so taking the hands underneath. Maybe you want to walk the fingertips back. Options if you want to invert into your tripod headstand. Please only take this if you are comfortable and safe here. So taking the hands underneath you, the forehead comes down like a little triangle. Ground down through the hands and we lift all the way up. Otherwise, staying in your wide leg forward fold. Again, coming back to the fluidity of the breath here. One more breath. If you're in your tripod headstand, gently and softly start to lower. Can you touch the ground like it's a little secret? Really quiet, amazing. And lifting all the way back up wherever you are. Walk your hands all the way over towards the left. Pivot the feet all the way towards the back of the mat. Ground down through the hands. Lift that left foot back to meet the right in your plank and you wave all the way back. Downward facing dog, you're doing amazing. One little round left and then it's on our way home. <laughs> Beautiful. Gazing between your hands. Bend the knees, walk step, jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, hands draw overhead. Exhale, bring that energy down to your heart centre. Nice, so same flow. We work it back now towards the top of the mat. So finding that buoyancy, take your three waves here. So inhale, open the chest. Exhale, fold it down. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more. Staying down, halfway lift, take your variation of your vinyasa knees, chest chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or full upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck under toes, lift that downward facing dog, amazing. Take the right foot to centre this time as you lift that left leg into the sky, three-legged dog. Left foot to left loop. And open that hip up to the sky. Take the left foot over to the right. Take it all the way back to centre. Draw the left knee towards the right armpit. Push away through the shoulder. And then step that the knife edge of the left foot underneath the right armpit. So here is an option if you wish to stay here. Otherwise, pivoting that back foot. Round down through the legs as you lift the hips, open through the chest, fall in triangle. Again, finding your movement here will take three breaths. So maybe bending and sweeping into that back leg. Maybe take a little bit more movement with the upper body, whatever feels right for you. Nice, holding here. Then wherever you are, coming back, planting that right hand down. 
pivoting onto the ball of the right foot. Really ground down here as you draw that left knee towards the left elbow. We pivot onto the knife edge of the right foot. Open into Vashistasana, other side here. Opening up, modify if you need to, lowering that right leg. If you want to, wild thing is yours. So coming onto the ball of the left foot, grounding down through that right foot. So you might want to turn it in slightly here. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips up to the sky. And then we open that left arm all the way up and overhead, wild thing. Breathe. <laughs> Amazing. One more breath here. Nice. And then as fluidly and as slowly as you can, take that left hand all the way back down. Pivot onto the balls of the right foot. Step it down and we inhale the left leg all the way high. Three-legged dog, you're doing amazing. We're nearly there. Inhale, prepare, come back to the breath. Exhale, round the body. Step that left foot in between the hands. Roll the body all the way up. Crescent lunge. Find in a moment here to connect to this posture. Maybe adjusting your stance. And then taking those waves. So hook the thumbs, inhale, sweeps you forward. Exhale, release. Two more, inhale, forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, takes you forward. Exhale, release, amazing. Then pivoting the toes all the way back to your wide-legged forward fold. Toes slightly in, heels out. Hands to your hips, inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest and as you exhale, hinging forward from the hips, hands place down. So from this position this time, start to walk the feet in a little bit, so heel toe them in, keeping the toes out, heels in, lower down the sit bones all the way down until we're in our yogic squat on the lasana. So finding that stance. Ground down through the feet, lift up through the chest. Slight adjustment of the elbows to open out through the hips. Maybe take a little sway from side to side here. Nice. And then taking the hands behind you, lower the sit bones down and extend the legs out. Nice, and breathe, coming back to centre here. So working into our Upavishta Konasana, which is wide leg forward fold. So if this doesn't feel comfortable for you on the sit bones, you can take a blanket and prop yourself up here, or you can roll your mat up. Otherwise, opening through the legs, so they don't need to be the widest possible, just making sure we're finding that nice external rotation. Really feeling the connection here. So it's not a passive fold, it's quite active. So feel like those hip bones are really externally rotating outwards. Flex through the feet, making sure that the kneecaps are facing up towards the sky. Soft bend in the knees if you tend to hyperextend. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest. And as you exhale, gently start to walk the hands forward. So this might be enough for you. This can be quite a tricky pose. Um, forward folding and external rotation of the hips is quite a lot going on in most bodies. So just maybe closing down the eyes. And maybe using your breath as this wave to guide you deeper into the pose. So even if you're not moving, just imagine your breath allowing you to release that little bit more. If you want to, gently starting to crawl the fingertips a little bit more forward here. But we're not finding that strain. On each inhale, maybe you can lift through the chest, create a little bit more space. And on each exhale, feel that wave of breath soften your body as it allows it to just sink forward that little bit more, keeping the legs active. We'll go ahead and take three deep breaths here. 
So wherever feels right for you, using a block if you want to. And then when you're ready, come back onto the fingertips, keeping the chin tucked and start to gently walk the fingertips all the way back to the sit bones. And then roll the chin all the way back up, stacking it on top of the spine. Amazing. Okay, so from here, a little bit of core engagement. So if this feels like you want to just stay here and work on that flexibility, you're more than welcome to. But with flexibility, it can be quite nice to build in that strength so that we don't just kind of sink into our body. So <laughs> with that said, <laughs> going over onto the left leg. So walking your fingertips round. So we're flexing through the foot, we're feeling that engagement, almost like you're lifting up and really engaging that mula banda here, drawing the energy up. Hands come beside you, you can be onto the fingertips. Walking the hands forward will be harder, keeping the hands for closer towards your body will allow it to be a bit more accessible. So we're gonna aim to lift the leg five times. So grounding down, really feel that engagement through the lower body, flex through the feet, and then see if we can lift for one, lower, two, three, four, five. Nice, you might get a little bit of cramp here. So if you do, just encouraging a little bit of moving here into the thigh, give it a little bit of a knock. <laughs> Cool. And then taking it over onto the right side. So this might feel a little bit different as well. Taking your hand position. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, can we lift for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Amazing. Giving your legs a little shake out if you need to. And then added a little bit of core fun. So Coming on to our sit bones here. So I'll show you from this side. So it's like the foundations of our Navasana boat pose, leaning back a little bit, and then start to draw the toes in towards the sit bones here, taking the knees out wide. So options to take the two piece fingers and grip them around the toes if you have that available. So option one can be just staying here, finding the foundation, lift through the chest, Roll the shoulder blades down, open through the heart. So this is option one. Option two, maybe you can keep the legs bent and take the feet facing away from you. So it's like you're in a variation of happy baby. Or option three, if you have it and you have the flexibility and strength, option to take a strap if you want to or hold it underneath your thigh. Extend those legs up. Upavishta Kanasana B. So again, squeezing through the belly, roll the shoulder blades down. Maybe you can even take your gaze up to the sky. And taking a couple breaths here. Amazing, finding that balance. <laughs> Noticing all the shakes and just bring it back to that fluidness of the breath. Maybe encourage softness where you can. Then option for that final little bit of core, release the hands, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Nice, release it down. Give your legs a nice shake. Amazing, guys. <laughs> really, really good. And then taking your sit bones towards your heels, take your arms out in front of you, slightly tuck under that tailbone, and lower your weight all the way down, slight core engagement until we come down onto our backs. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, and then setting up for our Septu Bandhasana, our bridge pose. So taking our feet as close to the hips as feels right for us, hips distance apart. Ground down through the base of the feet, squeeze the thighs together. As you inhale here, we're going to start to squeeze and lift the pelvis up. 
But the arms are going to flow overhead. So really just working with this fluidity. Then you exhale, feel that spine roll all the way back down, lowering that sacrum to the mat. Nice, and we'll take three more. Inhale it up. Exhale, lower. Again, connecting, feeling in the moment, feeling the articulation of the spine. One more. And then holding up here if you want to, taking the hands back down to support you in your bridge pose. Maybe interlacing the hands, rolling the shoulders underneath, finding this more engaged bridge. Or if it feels right for you and you want to take it in your practice, taking the hands beside your shoulders, fingertips facing back towards you, and then lifting into your full Urdhva Dhanurata in a wheel posture. So whatever feels right for you, many levels to explore. Maybe you want to just keep with those weights. Breathing here, really squeezing through the thighs, open through the chest. One more breath. And then as you exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Allow the shoulder blades to lower. And roll it all the way back down towards the mat. Amazing. Take your feet out to the edge of the mat. Just allow your knees to rest in here. Just come into a little counter pose. Maybe taking hands to your belly. And starting to really soften the breath here. And then take the knees all the way back, keeping them in this position. I'm going to floss the hips from side to side. Take the knees all the way over to the left. Maybe do this a little bit slower than you normally would so we don't miss out on those little spaces in between the move. Breathe in here. And then take it all the way back up. Again, moving slower than you normally would. Exhale, take it over to the right. So I feel this real release of the back body, the hips, the pelvis. Allowing you to sink deeper here. We'll go ahead and take it on each side. So slowly moving into it. Feel each little bit of the body releasing off here. And then just hold it here towards the left hand side. Allow a little bit of softness. Allow that heaviness to start to creep into the body. Take the knees all the way back to centre. Inhale it up. And then exhale, slowly lower over to the right. I'm feeling that really nice release of the lower back. And holding over onto the right hand side. Breathing into this space. Through the hips. Noticing how the stillness feels now contrasting against the fluidity, the constant movement of the practice. Take it all the way back to centre. Draw your knees in towards your chest, maybe wrapping your hands around your shin. Give yourself a nice big hug, maybe take a little rock from side to side or some circles through the lower back. Anything that you need. Maybe you want to take an extra posture before you come into your well-deserved Shavasana. So, taking the legs out to either corner of the mat. Taking the hands to your hips, encouraging the lengthening of the tailbone. Drawing your shoulder blades underneath you. Taking your hands behind your neck, drawing your chin towards your chest, feeling that length in the spine. And then releasing that head back down. Take one hand to your belly, and one hand to your heart. 
and just feel into this moment here. Take a deep inhale and through the nose. And exhale, side all out, let it go. And coming back to that intention that you set. Maybe you can allow it to fill you up here. Feel it radiating through the body. Body may be still, but the fluidity of the breath, that inner world within me, is always flowing. Connecting to this more gentle flow. Stay in here for as long as you need. If you are ready to move on, take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, one big clearing, releasing breath. some movement into your fingertips, into your toes, softly turning the head from side to side, reawakening the body, taking any stretches that you need that you feel will serve you right now to gently reawaken yourself. And then when you are ready, however you wish to get there, there is no rush. Gently and slowly start to make your way back to a comfortable seated position at the top of the mat. Keeping the eyes closed down here if you can. And when you arrive here, take in one hand to your heart. And then place the other hand on top of your heart. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And one final breath to let it all go. Feeling this energy, this fluidity in your body. Feeling this gratitude for the practice of yoga the gratitude for yourself to come onto the mat and maybe move a little bit more freely, exploring, tapping into that creativity. Taking your hands to prayer and jelly mudra and then take the thumbs towards the third eye centre of the space in between your eyebrows. We'll all bow down to say namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much everybody. I hope you enjoyed that and you got a little bit of maybe something different from that practice um, and a little bit of free movement and knowing that um, every practice can be quite different. So yeah, enjoy, embrace and I hope to see you soon. <laughs>